Hello guys, today we will discuss about dominance equilibrium and membrane potential. So first of all, what is dominance equilibrium? It denotes that product of diffusible ions on one side of the membrane is equal to product of diffusible ions on other side. This is the equilibrium. And this is when two ionized solutions, they are separated by semi-permeable membrane. So product of diffusible ions on one side is equal to product on the other side. First of all, let us discuss with the help of example. Here you can see, this is semi-permeable membrane and this is side A, this is side B. And these are diffusible ions, sodium chloride, here also sodium chloride. So product of sodium and chloride on A side is equal to product of sodium and chloride on B side. This is Donen's equilibrium. Now, what happens if any non-diffusible ion is added here when one or more ion which is not which cannot pass when we are adding that in this one side so what will happen that we'll discuss suppose we are adding x on the a side okay so when we are add, adding x on the a side x is n i okay so here what happens because x or anion is more on a side what happens the distribution of this cation and anion which are diffusible sodium and chloride that changes why because that is to create a state of equilibrium here you can see x cannot pass for example suppose if we all know that uh, sodium and chloride I, uh, in compartment a we have 10 sodium chloride means 10 sodium 10 chloride okay and we have 5 NAX okay and on B side suppose there is 0 so what happens at the end of equilibrium now as we all know that this cannot pass so this 5 Na and 5 Na will pass but this X minus will not pass 5 X minus will not pass okay so what happens at the end of equilibrium now at the end of equilibrium we have 5 X minus and 4 chloride minus so total is 9 here okay and on the a side and 9 sodium ions na plus and 9 this one and this side we have 6 na plus and 6 chloride minus and this denotes that product of diffusible you can see here this diffusible anion and cation this is this is the product 9 4 are 36 is equal to 6 6 36 so this is Donen's equilibrium what does it denote if we have any ion which cannot pass through the cell membrane that will affect the distribution of other diffusible ions so at equilibrium diffusible cation concentration on the side of the membrane containing this x minus that is diffusible cations are more why? Because we have more anions and diffusible anions are less. Diffusible cations on the other side are less. So this is Donen's equilibrium, gibbs donen equilibrium. What is the application of this gibbs donen equilibrium? The same thing happens in our cell also. In our cell, you can see here, inside the cell we have proteins which are negatively charged. They cannot come out of the cell. In say, intracellular fluid contains non-diffusible anions like proteins as well as organic phosphates etc and according to this gibbs donen equilibrium there is asymmetrical distribution of diffusible ions okay and because of that there are more osmotically active particles in the cell than interstitial fluid and because of that the cell will be swollen and cell may burst and to prevent this we have so what happens because of that the same condition like this will happen more sodium inside less sodium outside so what happens the cell will be swollen and it will be it will burst so to prevent this we have sodium potassium pump what does it do it moves three sodium ions out and two potassium ions in okay so it maintains the volume of the cell so this is our applied physiology if you wish to get all topic notes my book physiology notes is available on flipkart as well as amazon and link for both that is given in the description box and to get the soft copy my application vesalius that is available on play store you can download it and get the subscription link for that is also given in the description box thank you so much